The global shipping industry contributes 3% of all gases which cause climate change. A unanimous agreement between 175 countries aim for a net zero emissions target by 2050. Whilst the deal has been praised as a positive step, environmentalists are concerned the agreement does not go far enough. Cargo ships are the lifeblood of international trade. But it's a polluting business and this hard-to-regulate industry has been under pressure to clean up. Now the United Nations International Maritime Organization, known as the IMO, has promised for the first time to get shipping to net zero carbon emissions by or around 2050. As you know, uh, the maritime uh, decarbonization strategy has been one of the most important topics for last uh, over 10 years. Shipping emissions are currently a big problem. Global shipping carries about 90% of the world's traded goods and produces nearly 3% of all carbon emissions, about the same as emitted by Germany every year. For some, then, any progress is good news. What was agreed here at the IMO in London is the first time ever that we have a greenhouse gas emission strategy, a decarbonisation of shipping, the international shipping industry. It's a very important sector. Uh, we can't say we're ever going to abandon shipping anytime soon. It's been with us for thousands of years, but we need to decarbonise. But as temperatures continue to rise, this week setting global records for the hottest days ever recorded, campaigners say the IMO's pledge is too vague, weak and lacks a delivery plan. We expected them to uh, um, to come up with goals, targets for the global shipping sector uh, in line with uh, what it takes uh, for their fair share for the world to limit warming to 1.5 degrees. And unfortunately, they missed the boat on that. The fuels and technology that would drive any transition are still a long way off for this critical industry. Its journey to net zero likely to be an imperfect one.